This channel is making big money with YouTube monetization by creating these easy to make videos. I made these videos using tools that offer free generations daily. I'll show you their strategy so you can see how it works. This niche is not oversaturated like the niches with animals, for example, but most people have no idea how to create content like this. They don't have any 3D modeling or animation skills. They don't know where to start and they think it's way too complicated. Well, even if you are a total beginner trying this for the first time, then this video is going to break down in the simplest way how you can make similar content using AI tools. Tools. Most of the income for this page comes from ad revenue, but they also have different types of income from just this channel. By following a structured content strategy, you can explore similar opportunities in this niche. And along the way, I'll reveal a powerful technique to improve viewer engagement and retention that no one else is talking about. Something that can take this niche to the next level by helping to get good retention and high chose to view rate. I know you might be tempted to skip ahead and start right away, but trust me, stay patient. I always get straight to the point, and if you watch the full video, you'll gain all the crucial steps. We are going to break this into four easy steps to get the full information you will have to watch the four steps carefully because important insights are given in all the steps, so be patient. Step one is the step where we need to generate the prompts that will generate us the images we need. To do that, we need to teach ChatGPT to write these prompts for us. For this, we need some already existing images. You can find them online or just go to mid-journey and on the search bar right. Crystal Kitchen Island. It will show us a ton of images generated by AI, which we can use to generate a specific style. I am going to use this image for myself, and now I'm going to upload it to ChatGPT and write this prompt. Generate a detailed prompt for creating this image that I have provided. Try to make the prompt clear and rich with visual details to inspire accurate image creation and realistic visualization. Don't include text. I added the don't include text part because my image has some text, but if your sample doesn't, then it's not necessary to add that part. Hit enter. Now ChatGPT has given us the detailed prompt to generate an original AI-created image inspired by the style and composition. To do that, we need to copy the prompt and go to an image generator like Leonardo AI or Midjourney, which brings us to the second step, which is generating the images. I'm going to show you both tools to see which one gives us better generations. Leonardo has free daily credits, which can help you in the beginning until you start making money, and maybe after that you can invest in Midjourney, which is $10 per month, but for my opinion, it's worth the price since the quality, it's way better. Anyway, Anyway, let's go first to Leonardo AI and go to image creation. On the style, choose Phoenix 1.0 for better quality and set the ratio to 9 to 16 for the vertical short format. Now let's copy the prompt on ChatGPT and paste it on the prompt section on Leonardo AI. And boom, here are the results. Not bad for a free generation. With a little modifications on the prompt, you can get even better results. Now let's check Midjourney. Go to Midjourney and on the prompt section, paste the prompt and also add the dash dash AR 9 by 16 to get the format for shorts. Hit enter and boom. Now. The results on Midjourney are way better for the first prompt compared to Leonardo AI, but we need to test more prompts to see the big difference. And to do that, let's go back to ChatGPT, and we need to write, create 10 more prompts. Taking inspiration from the above prompt, ChatGPT has given us 10 prompts that we can use to generate more images that are on the same style. Each prompt is unique and different from the other one, which is what we need to create our video. Now let's try adding some of these to Leonardo AI. I'm going to copy each one and go paste it on the prompt section in Leonardo AI. These are some of the results from Leonardo. They look pretty good. We are again going to try also Midjourney just to get the idea of both tools so you can come up with a decision if you want to go with Midjourney or Leonardo AI. I'm going to copy each prompt and paste it on prompt section on Midjourney. Also add the 9 by 16 for the ratio and repeat it for all the prompts. The results from Midjourney are way better, and for myself, I would go with Midjourney in this case. It's generating exactly what we need. Now, once you have decided which tool to use and have generated the images, it's time to download them because we are going to move to step three. Step three is where we are going to animate these images. There are a lot of tools we can use for this, like Runway, Pika, Luma, Hilu, Kling AI, and for this one, we are going to choose Kling AI. If you're searching for the best AI tool to transform images into videos, Kling AI is hands down the top choice right now. Here's how to use it. Head over to Kling AI's homepage and navigate to AI videos, image to video. You'll see three key features. Elements, a brand new tool for generating consistent characters across multiple scenes. Effect, ideal for stylized video generation, but we'll skip this for now. We need to go to frames. This is perfect for smooth, high quality AI animations. Next, upload your image and write this prompt. Lens rotating. This will add the movement of the camera as we need it. To make your video stand out, increase the creativity slightly to 0.7. This adds uniqueness and a more dynamic look. Pro tip, 
Higher creativity can introduce slight distortion, but it also leads to more visually striking videos. If you haven't done so far, please hit the subscribe button now to support what I'm doing and to allow me to continue doing it and bringing more and more value to this community. Also, let me know on the comments from which country you are watching from. Anyway, let's go back to the video. Now, for best results, select professional mode to maximize quality. Set the duration to 5 seconds for AI shorts. If you're making cinematic content, go for 10 seconds instead. Once everything is set up, hit generate, and within minutes, you'll have an impressive AI-generated video ready to go. Let's check some of the results. Pretty impressive, right? Now let me walk you through the video so you can see just how good the quality from Kling AI really is. It's really worth it. With these AI-generated clips and smart editing, you can create videos that not only hold viewers' attention till the end of the video, but also boost your chose to view rate. These metrics are the key metrics that decide if your videos will go viral or not. To do that, we need first to start with a strong clip which will make the viewer not scroll away, then introduce high engaging videos to keep the viewers engaged to the video until the end to get a higher retention rate. Now I'm going to show you how to do that on the next step, which is step 4. In step 4, I'm going to show you how we need to put the clips together on an editor to get the best results that we possibly can in this niche. For this part, I'm going to use a free tool that anyone can use. Even if you are a beginner, as I said in the beginning, you can still use this tool because it's free and it's user-friendly. Also, a lot of you have asked me how I make my AI avatar this realistic. In the description, I have attached a link where you can go and check out how I do this. Now let's open CapCut and hit Create Project. Now, before we start adding the clips to the timeline, we need to find the best music for this because it's very important to have a successful video with high retention rate. We need to find a music first because we need to match the clips to the beat. So whenever we have a beat, we switch the clip. This method doesn't leave the audience to get bored by watching the video. And they follow with both senses, watching and hearing it. This is a technique that helps people be more engaged to the video. For free royalty music, we can use Pixabay. There are a ton of music we can use for free. But if you want to step it up, you can use any paid tool like Epidemic Sound, Artlist, etc. Anyway, I'm going to show you how to use Pixabay. Now for these videos, what I prefer is to use an instrument that is calm and goes with the nature of the video, like the violin. Let's go to Pixabay, chose the section for music, and search violin. It will show you the music that is made using violin as instrument. Let's listen to some of them. Okay. This one sounds perfect for the video we want to make. Let's download it and now go back to CapCut. Let's upload all the footage together with the music. Now add the music in the timeline and let's change the ratio of the video to 9 by 16 for the short format. Let's add the first clip and listen until the beat repeats. Now once the beat hit like here, let's cut the video there and add the next clip and see how good it matches. Amazing, right? Let's do the same for the next clip. Now, something that we need to be careful to is that we cannot have the camera move in the same direction in both clips like we have here. That will create a feel of repetition, which is also a cause to make the viewers skip. What we need to do though is just reverse the clip so the camera moves in reverse and it will look like it's moving to another direction. It's that simple. Now let's add the rest of the clips and then adjust the music to the length of the video. Then you can choose if you want to add some text on the video or not. That's up to you. And once you are done and have set all the clips, we just need to click export and export the video on 10 80 or 2k and these are the results looking good yeah I hope this video made you think about exploring YouTube as a creative opportunity, because this can be a rewarding experience. If not, then check this other video I have prepared for you to see if it's a better fit for you. Just click on the screen.